Hey Dean, I got the house to myself, 20-30 minutes. I'm going to crank through a little practice. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, it's sort of impromptu. I kind of have an idea what I'm doing, but we'll see. I'm kind of hoping I can end up in my hammock at some point. Before I'm supposed to like be doing dishes or cooking or something. Namaste. Hey, namaste everybody. This is Dean from The Rack. And you're going to share in Luke and I doing a yoga practice over the miles. He's in Seattle. I'm here in Malaga, Three Lakes. And um, you're going to hear mostly my voice, but you can hear Luke breathing and, uh, and I think a little introduction at the end. Anyway, this is fun because this is our solstice practice. Solstice is coming up. And guess what? It also is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. It finally came. And here we go. Peace and harmony are going to rule the planets. Everything's going to get better from here on out. So a little celebration. This is just a quick yoga practice. Quick in that it's only a little over 25 minutes long. And but um, um, Luke likes to hold poses a little longer. So at any point you need to rest, you just need to do that. So enjoy. It's basically a power yoga, quick class. And uh, here you go. Get ready on your mat. Take a couple of breaths. Good, good, good. Plant your feet. As Luke is playing his bowl, his Tibetan bowl there. You're ready. Get down, all fours. Go right into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. You already feel the breath. You feel those shoulders. Yeah, there they are. Wrists. Fingers are going wide. And you're just relaxing the heels down and starting to let the calves elongate. And the hammies open right up. There they go. Easy does it. Breathing in and out. That's it. Feel the hips shift. Yeah. Is one heel higher than the other? Can you experience your toes? That's it. All right. And what he's going to do is come up to Uttanasana, your nice forward fold. And just hanging over, just relaxing into it beautifully, easily. You can grab a hold of your elbows if you want. Yeah, that's it. And more hamstrings all the way up through the glutes, lower back, posterior kinetic chain getting activated right here, right now as your breath is easy and loose. And you're letting go. Let go. Just let all that stuff behind you stay behind. Just let it go. Thinking about moving forward. Letting everything in the past be in the past. Bless it with love. Let it go. And just hang over. Beautiful. All right, how about a little glance up? Back down. Good, go a little deeper. And then work your way all the way up. Little head roll. Get those feet planted. And up you come. Back a little. 
Going forward, bend. Back over to Uttanasana. Inhale, plants up. And now, on the exhale, you're going to take that left foot back all the way. Now, going to do a little Ekapada Uttanasana. So you want that back foot, the toes going forward, not turned out. And you got both legs as straight as you can. You may need to bend them a little bit. It's up to you. But now relax into it. Call this hamstring heaven for a reason. You're getting into it. You're going to walk his hands out. That's it. Bend that right knee. Hands going clear for a big stretch of the spine. Keep pushing on that left heel. Good. Now at any point this gets to be too much. Just adjust. You could come down on your knee, take a rest. But otherwise, keep breathing. Keep enjoying. That's the back and the shoulder stretch. All right, walk those hands up toward your knee, and there you are. It's like a standing Johnny Asana. Arms are coming up, and you're going back with those hands. There it is, right there. Full standing lunge, Hasta Anjani Asana. That was a mouthful. All right, breathing deep, looking good. Yeah, all right. Coming back down. Okay, he's going to put his chest on his thigh. You may too. But then lift that left leg up and bingo. You are in warrior three with your arms out to the side. Flying. Yeah. Flying through the room. That's it. You could do a barrel roll if you wanted to or not. You could stay right where you are. Balancing, breathing deep. That's it. Okay. Bring that left leg through. You're going to bring the knee up. Grab a hold of it with one hand or two. Good. Excellent. And now get fancy. You can grab a hold of that left big toe with your left hand. Take it up as far as you want. That would be Hasapada Gustasana. And then bring that left foot against your right leg and go into Christmas tree pose. That's it. Holiday Vrikasana right here. Breathing, rooting down, singing. That's it. Hands go down. Guess what? Standing splits. Left leg goes up in the air. Fingertips to the ground, dropping that head. Neck elongating. Leg getting long. That's it. Then bring the foot down. Yeah, he's got to loosen up that back leg. All right, a little glance up. Exhale. And now take the right foot back. You're back to Ekapada Uttanasana. Hamstring heaven on this side. Keep pushing that thigh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that heel goes back. And you're finding ways to just loosen up. Notice you can just, you can relax that knee a little bit. All right. All right, holding it as long as you want. Going deeper now. As you bend the left knee and walk the hands forward. Deep lunge here. Very deep. Chest on the thigh if you can get it there. And when you're ready. Are you ready? When you're ready, you're going to take those arms out to the side. Uh-huh. And up. And bring it up. Ah, there you are. You're in Hasta and Jani Anasana. Or just a standing lunge pose. Because you got those back toes turned forward. So it's not really warrior one. There you go. Deep into it. Yes. And on this side, the arms are going out. And now you're just going to rest on that thigh with the chest. There you go. And right now, right here, lift that back leg and come up to where you're three. 
Luke's doing the barrel roll now. All right, good job, good job. Balance. All right, how do you feel about standing splits? Nah, not yet. Knee comes up. Good. Grab a hold of the big toe. Ooh, nice. Hastapada Gustasana. And here we are. Back to Christmas tree pose. There it is. Holiday brick asana. Ah, beautiful. Grounding down. Okay, feel those roots going out from your feet all the way down into Mother Earth. Okay, leg down. Now we've got Radhava Prasvati Ekpadasana. Standing splits. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Right leg comes down. Uttanasana. Inhale, glance up. Arda. Exhale, down. Shake it out. Okay. There we go. Work your way up. Come home. Namaste. All right. Just turn to the side. However you want. Got those feet turned out, legs wide, hands going behind your head, interlace your fingers. And invert those palms, take them up in the air. Yeah, Devi Asana, Goddess Pose. Goddess Pose, Ave Maria. Push down through those heels, knees going out over your toes. That's it, settling in, feel the strength. That's it. And the body goes up, feet are forward, and bending over, Urdhava. No, Prasarita Padatanasana. Spread your legs, bend over, arm position, up to you. Gonna work your hands over to that right leg, grab a hold of the ankle, calf, whatever, pull your head toward your knee, shin, foot, Push to the outside of that left foot. Excellent. Good, good, good. Keep the breath flowing. How deep is your breath? So deep. That's it. All right. Gonna make this a little more interesting. You're gonna turn that right foot out to the right. And now, grab a hold of your ankle with both hands, or have one hand down, grab a hold of what you want, and drop your head in this position. So deep, there you go. This is kind of the, the theme pose of this practice. Good, walking your hands over the other side, feet are now going forward, Toes forward, grab a hold of your ankle, calf, foot, whatever. Pull your head toward your knee, shin, foot, ankle. That's it. Hips are going back. Weights on your heels. Keep pulling. Keep breathing. The deeper the breath, the deeper the pose, the deeper the release. Okay, there goes that foot. Knee is bent slightly or a lot, grab a hold of the ankle, or leg, or keep it on the ground. You'll notice that Luke's trying to pull his head underneath that knee, which is a good move to make. There you go. Little deeper, head closer. There it is. Ah, looking fine. Keep going. And here we go. Turn him back forward. Toes forward. Drop the head a little bit more. And what we're going to do is come back up to Devi Asana, Goddess Pose. So turn those toes out. Knees are bent. Come back up. Arms come up. 
Interlace your fingers, palms up, push up, and root down. So you got lifting and pushing away. And now don't get fancy, just get dancy. Swing that leg around. Come back forward. Up to Asta Tadasana. Let yourself go back. Go back down. This is a vinyasa. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, you're going to move back to a plank. And lower on down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Yeah, there's a little cobra. And finish out down dog. Now, after you've been in down dog long enough, I'm going to, that's it. You're going to lunge with the right foot again. That's it. Notice those back toes. Turn forward. Getting one more chance here. Yeah. All right. Here's where it gets interesting. Going to walk that left foot over a little bit. Come down on the left knee, then down on the right knee. And you're in Ekapadaraja, Kapitanasana or commonly known as Dan Flynn Asana. And you're going to take your time going down. Easy does it. Perfect in every way. Feeling the hips open. Breathing into that hip. And you know in yoga, it's a helpful belief that our issues are in our tissues. And one of the things we believe is that the hips are the junk drawer for issues. So many issues. So breathe in and clean out that junk drawer on the exhale. Letting go of 2020. We got some work to do to let go of 2020. Let's start right now. Good. When you're ready, work your way back up. Take that leg back. Ah, the relief at downward facing dog on Omukhishvanasana. And then take a little lunge with the left leg this time. Walk it. And now. That's it. A little twist. Or not. Then walk the left foot. Right foot came over a little bit. You got your knee coming down. Hekapada Raja Kapitanasana. Dan Flynnasana. Inhale, exhale. Sink into it. Hip, hip, hooray. All right. Breathe in. Relax the neck a little bit. You tend to tense the neck in this position. Make sure your forehead is smooth. Your eyes are soft. That's it. Oh, there you are. You're a gift underneath the Christmas tree. That's it. Enjoy. You are a gift to the universe. All right. Stay as long as you want, but when you're ready, work your way up. Go to downward facing dog. Good. And now, just come to seated. How about a cross leg position or whatever you want? Good. And we're going to get into some fun here. We're going to get into some pranayama. So, Luke is showing you uh, the hand position for Nadi Sarshana, just alternate nostril breathing and he's doing whatever you want um, he's breathing in holding and then slow exhale alternating nostrils so pick what you want to alternate how many counts and you can either use that hand position or just use your thumb and your index finger. Open up one nostril to breathe in, close it, and breathe out the other. Or 
Right now, you could do a three-part breath, just filling the belly, filling the chest, filling the throat. And on the exhale, reverse that. Throat, chest, and belly. Just keep the breath flowing, whatever breath you're doing. That's it and let it go. You could also do heart coherent breathing right now, or congruent breathing, uh, continuous breathing. So you're breathing in for a count of four, or four seconds, or five. And on the exhale, breathe out for a count of four, or five, or five seconds. Continuous breathing in and out, no starts, no stops, just keep breathing, that's it, feeling that spine elongate, you're increasing the flow of prana, which is the life force, throughout your body, moving it from the base of your spine, all the way up to your crown, that's it, filling yourself, life. Picture yourself filling with light. And on the exhale, feel yourself expanding with that light. That's it. Every little cell of your body filled with light and life and health. That's it. Safe, secure, that's it. You did it. Continue breathing or just relax. Turn. We're into finishing poses, folks. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. That's it. And going right into Satipandasana, Sarangasana, bridge pose. So push down on those feet, lift the hips. That's it. Squeeze the glutes and allow your knees to come toward each other just a little bit. Activate those inner thighs. And you can interlace your fingers and push toward your heels with your hands. Get this tremendous stretch in the shoulders. Feeling it in the traps. That's it. The neck. Good. That's wonderful. Keep breathing. It's very much a rooting pose. Feel your feet rooting down into the ground. That's it. Lifting your center. Your third chakra is wide open. And then when you're ready, lower down. Grab your knees. Rock side to side. And... Whatever. Good. Guess what? Time for a little twist here. So, take that right leg over, using your left hand on the right leg. Right arm goes out like a wing. Turn and look toward the right a little bit. That's it. Beautiful twist in the spine. Stretch across the chest. Twist in your abs and that hip releasing. Ah, nothing better. Check the forehead, eyes soft, jaw relax. And the breath so easy, so free. Deeper, down. When you're ready, just draw that knee up. Pull it in a little higher. Switch to the other side, got left knee up. Take the left arm out. Using the right hand, pull the knee across your body. You can hook that foot on your right leg if you want. Look to the left and breathe. There it is. Can you feel that stretch all the way from your left fingertips, down your arm, across your chest, twisting your abs, that hip releasing. Uh -huh. Spine is spiraling up getting space between the vertebra. Good. Feel the breath going all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. And on the exhale, just allow yourself 
Twist a little bit more. That's it. Deeper. Deeper. There you go. All right, when you're ready, draw that left knee up. Good. And now, guess what? You made it to Shavasana. That's it. Best pose in all yoga. Here it is. Just relax. Let yourself go. That's it. And now, focus inward on your breath. Allow it to deepen. Yeah. Feeling the cool air come in through your nostrils, down into your lungs where it's warmed. And then on the exhale, just release. Let go. Let the breath just flow out. Don't push it. Just let it go. We just push all the time. Now's the time to just let things happen. So allowing the top of your head to relax. Those tiny muscles in the scalp that get so tight, let them go. And then feel your forehead smooth out, your eyes soften. Upper lip, there it goes. Your jaw relaxing. Your throat is soft and open. The back of your neck, so relaxed. Feels so good. All right, lay all your burdens down. Every burden of 2020, lay it down. Let your shoulders go and feel this relaxation in your shoulders flow like a waterfall down your arms, out through your hands and your fingertips as your chest softens. You can feel the beating of your heart, your lungs so relaxed, breathing easily, air just floating in and out, belly soft, your entire back sinking deep into the floor as you breathe into the pelvis and allow your hips to let go. There go your glutes, your thighs, front and back, knees soft. Calves and shins relax, ankles free, and toes. Oh, time to get up here. Luke's got the hammock ready. You can stay on the floor if you want. He's getting for a little yuletide rest in the hammock. Now we're talking Shavasana. Namaste, Luke. Happy solstice, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. From Luke and Dean, all our best to you. Namaste, namaste, namaste.